Hello and welcome to a look at calculating expected returns with the Capital Market Line with me Andy Duncan here at Finlingo.com. You may want to watch our video on defining the Capital Market Line, but if you're good on where it comes from, let's get going. First of all, let's work out the slope of this line. This is between the risk-free point and the market portfolio point. DY, or the rise, is the expected return of the market, or ERM. And then we take away the risk-free return, or RF. DX, or the run, is the market risk, or its sigma volatility. So DY over DX, or the slope of the line, is ERM minus RF, all divided by the market risk of sigma M. This equation is the market price of risk, or going from the video on defining the capital market curve, it's the sharp ratio of the market. Go watch that video. So let's derive the full capital market line equation. So that's going to be the expected market return is equal to the risk-free rate plus the product of sigma p multiplied by the slope again, which is the expected return of the market, take away the risk-free return divided by the market's own sigma. The second half of that equation gives us the full risk premium of the target portfolio. So let's imagine we want to know the expected return here for a portfolio with about half the risk of the market. So that gives it a sigma volatility of about 8.15%. Just by looking at the line, I'd guess this gives us about 6.5% as an expected return. But let's try and confirm that on a cunning spreadsheet. So we insert a risk-free rate of 2%, a portfolio risk of 8.15%, then the expected market return of 11.10%, and then finally, we put in a market risk volatility of 16.33%. We take 2 from 11.10 to get to 9.10, then we divide 9.10 by 16.33 to get to 0.56. And then we multiply 8.15 by 0.56 to get to a funky 4.54. And finally, we add 2 on top of that to get to a final 6.54, or just a smidge away from the guess of 6.5. So now we've derived the capital market line equation. Let's try a question then on Finlingo. Here I've got a risk-free rate of 2.85%, a target portfolio risk of 11.21%, an expected market return of 16.57%, and a market risk of 14.75%. Let's move those figures then over to the incredible spreadsheet. We do the takeaway, division, we do the multiplication, then we do the addition. And now we have an expected return of 13.28%. Check it out on Finlingo, and we're so done, it hurts. That's it for expected returns on the capital market line. But do look out for those questions where you get asked for the market price of risk, which is the slope of the line, or the risk premium, which is everything in addition to the risk-free rate. You sometimes get questions where all three of these are the possible answers. So be careful out there. Head on over now to finlingo.com to get an infinite number of questions on how to calculate expected returns on the capital market line, along with hundreds of other CFA-style questions. Finlingo. Speak finance fluently.